hey welcome to the next channel so when you start uh, learning about um, uh, system software development as, as well as uh, kernel uh, programming uh, uh, you may wonder uh, whenever uh, uh, there is a crash in the kernel it is going to crash the entire system but whenever there is a crash in a process uh, especially when you do uh, a c or c++ program you may often notice uh, any time you do a mistake in the pointer or any sort of manipulation it may throw a uh, segmentation uh, uh, fault and it is going to crash the entire uh, uh, process so uh, to understand the same what i did is i did this uh, uh, picture in uh, daya uh, so that uh, we can see uh, on top of the linux uh, uh, software layer uh, which is essentially the linux kernel you have various uh, application uh, applications or apps on top of the same in the user space so each of these applications uh, are uh, surrounded by its own uh, virtual memory and this is a sort of platform which you know kernel provides so every time you start a process and then uh, it is going to have its own uh, Uh, virtual memory space associated uh, with the same so this is how uh, any time you want to communicate from one process to other process you need an ipc and uh, <laughs> the same i have discussed in uh, various other episodes as well so what happens is uh, whenever such a crash happens it is going to happen in that isolated area and this is how a kernel can isolate that problematic situation and then it is going to just you know shut down that uh, problematic application by throwing some error and then the application is or the process is eventually going to die so this is how uh, what happens is any time there is a crash in an individual process it is not going to affect the kernel if there is a crash in the process the kernel is isolated from this situation but any time if there is a crash in the kernel itself you should understand all these processes are facilitated by linux kernel so any time the kernel itself crashes it is going to crash the entire system so you can see here the kernel is the first software layer on top of the hardware so first you have the uh, real physical hardware and the kernel is the first software layer on top of the same and uh, to use the hardware you have device drivers and various other stuff which comes into the picture so after that uh, to use uh, the kernel's uh, uh, system resources uh, you need uh, system calls so that from user space pro- uh, user space you can access uh, the features of the kernel uh, uh, being uh, Uh, uh an entity like user space uh, process so what i did is i did a small uh, test application uh, you can see here i did a small test code it's a very simple code you can see here i have an integer uh, pointer and uh, without any uh, malloc or any uh, allocation memory allocation what i did is uh, i tried uh, setting some random pointer uh, with some value so it is not a valid uh, way to do the same so obviously whenever you run such a code you are going to get this uh, segmentation fault so you should understand this is uh, whatever is happening in star of a and all this stuff it is happening in this you know virtual memory space so since the virtual memory space is uh, 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 accessed in the wrong way um, you get a crash and eventually it is just going to kill that uh, specific process and you are going to get some sort of an error uh, this way but in case if there is a crash in the linux uh, kernel itself you are going to get some kind of uh, kernel oops message and kernel dump and then it is going to eventually uh, you know crash the entire system so this is what it is so if you are writing any kernel modules or kernel space uh, programs you should be uh, very much aware that even if you do any a uh, pluggable module in case if the module is wrongly written uh, because of some issue it can uh, entirely crash the entire um, uh, system so you need to be very much aware of this problem so any time if you are writing any kernel modules don't assume that you are just uh, uh, plugging these modules in existing kernel uh, if you just plug these modules in existing kernel and this module has a problem it's going to bring down the entire system so this is the reason uh it is always risky to insert any uh, modules in the runtime any uh, in any working uh, systems you should understand this is not a question of your uh, you know test uh, sample lab system it's a question about uh, Uh, real uh, production systems say for example uh, uh, you have a server in a data center and suddenly you have uh, uh, got a module kernel module and you are just uh, inserting it in the runtime in the uh, working uh, 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 server's kernel uh, 
so what happens is if there is any crash it is going to bring down the entire system so this is quite risky and um, this is why uh, you should be uh, very much uh, be careful of inserting any uh, kernel modules in the runtime uh, sometimes it is also advisable that these modules are uh, pre compiled and pre packaged with the kernel uh, so that uh, you don't need to insert uh, as and when it is required because if there is any problem happens it is just going to suddenly uh, cause the disruption of services so this is also an issue so this is the sort of um, uh, explanation uh, i can give about uh, why a process uh, uh, crashes and it is uh, going to happen in that isolated uh, location like memory uh, virtual memory space this illusionary memory space Uh, mapping everything taken care by the kernel uh, from physical memory to the virtual memory so this happens in that isolated area but it, whenever uh, such a crash happens in the kernel itself you should understand kernel's memory is directly on the physical uh, ram itself so it doesn't use any virtual memory kernel's uh, its own internal memory is directly mapped on the physical memory so if there is any crash in that specific workspace it is going to crash the entire system so this is uh, Uh, this is how critical it is uh, when you do any uh, system software programming in the kernel space versus system software programming in the user space uh, if you do any uh, errors in libraries or some uh, area like this you have this uh, system calls and you have this user space library you should understand any time you do include std ioh and all this uh, uh, you know std lib or whatever libraries you are using uh, it is fine to get uh, some kind of errors if you get some errors or uh, uh, memory leaks in this region what is going to happen is your entire user space uh, layer is going to get affected not just one application like this you should understand what i'm talking is the libraries in case if you have any memory leaks or if your processes like this have any memory leaks Uh, uh it is going to affect the pro a specific process alone whereas if you do any goof ups in any libraries includable libraries it is going to cause uh, all the processes which are using this libraries whereas if you do any goof ups in the uh, kernel itself it is going to crash the entire system as and when it touches that area of uh, you know problematic uh, uh, code and this is quite often uh, 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 quite common and it often happens and if you just uh, upgrade your linux kernel uh, in ubuntu suddenly um, the new kernel may not work and suddenly it may crash it may have some performance issues and uh, stuff like that so this is the reason ubuntu will uh, i'm just giving an example let it be fedora or any uh, distribution so let's take an example like ubuntu it keeps a sort of backlog of a couple of kernels and it is not going to remove them immediately so that in case if the new kernel is having any issues you can just boot your kernel uh, uh, manually uh, any of these older versions of the kernel and then you can still use them so that uh, soon uh, uh, the team realizes that new version uh, whichever uh, uh, kernel got installed when you did uh, uh, upgrade of your system they can rectify the same and then they can soon release a uh, patch addressing the same in case if some of uh, someone uh, uh, reports about this crash uh, to that uh, you know uh, ubuntu team so this is how it happens so that is why if you do uh, say dpkg minus minus list you get a list of all the installed applications and you can do a grep linux you can get uh, the list of uh, uh, installed kernel versions you can see there are various versions which are installed so grep uh, you can do uh, 4.13.0 you can see there are various versions installed and you name minus r and currently it is booted in the 36 uh, 4.13.0-36 a version of kernel and before that you have 35333231 and so on so i can manually remove the same uh, because uh, i find uh, this 36 is quite stable enough you can keep last two versions like 35 and 36 or last three versions and you can remove that older versions though this is how uh, it happens so so that is how uh, 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 
complicated or tricky it is so whenever you do system software programming when you do uh, libraries you need to be quite cautious when you do user space processes you are fine and you are good to go it is easy to debug easy to fix an individual user space processes if it is having any uh, memory issues or any sort of memory leaks etc 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 but if it happens in the kernel uh, itself and individual kernel modules you need to be little more extra cautious because it is going to affect the entire uh, uh, reliability and stability of the system as well and if it happens to be a, a carrier grade uh, Uh, devices uh, etc uh, something meant for a network appliance and all uh, and so on then you need to be even more extra careful so hope you guys uh, loved watching this video in case if you have any questions or uh, in case if you want to discuss anything uh, uh, please be in touch via mail so thank you once again for watching this video stay tuned have a nice day bye bye